Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be opening up a $100 K-Dog and Fish mystery box. Well, it's actually two $50 ones. But anyways, let's get started. Alright guys, so inside of here is two of their $50 Mega Vault mystery boxes. So inside of these mystery boxes, you get 10 figures, not five. So we're going to be opening up 20 brand new Funko Pops today. I'm super excited about this. Whenever I do this, I always seem to order two boxes from them. I don't know why. I just like buying two instead of one if we ever want to play a game with someone else. But today, it's just going to be me opening them up. And we are in a different location today. I'm in my front room of the office, not the main room where we normally film. Only because of yesterday's video, I built a huge diorama slash like city full of Funko Pops and it was just too much work to actually build it so I didn't want to take it down yet and I'm still working on what I want to do with it so we might be out here for a couple days until I actually figure out how to move it or keep it nice or at least remember it somehow while still you know keeping it out or I don't know I'm gonna figure it out but anyways guys let's get into these here but first we gotta open up this big box all right guys so I'm guessing they're gonna be in two separate boxes inside of here so let's cut this big box open here and see what it looks like inside also I noticed on this side here it says fragile must be Italian all right, guys, so like usual, we have the K-Dog and Fish sticker right here, which I'm a huge fan of. I have one on my sticker wall. And then this also, I want to tell you guys what it was called exactly. They're sold out now, but these are called the K-Dog and Fish Mega Value Mystery Box. Did I say Mega Vault earlier? I always picture it like a huge vault of Funko Pops. It's probably not, but uh, it's a Mega Value Mystery Box. So you're getting 10 Pops inside of here for $50 Canadian, which is like... 35 to 40 dollars usd um, for any of you americans out there but this is a great deal for a lot of figures all right guys so just cutting open the big box here we can see that there are two of the mystery boxes inside of here i don't really care which one we start with because we're, we're opening up all of them eventually but i guess we'll start with the closer one here now while i'm opening this up i want to mention this i don't know if i'm going to be pricing them out because you're for sure getting your value on these only because they're 10 figures, they're at least $10, and you're paying, well, maybe I will just to find out how much these figures are actually worth um, compared to the $100 maybe, because they're at least worth $10 each, and some of them could be worth way more, I don't know. All right, so as soon as I cut into this box here, it's got the paper on the top. I don't wanna look inside, so I'm just gonna put this one to the left over here, and then I'll just reach in as we go. Um, but you guys can still see the box there, so you know I'm reaching into this box right here. But let me take off the paper, I don't wanna look but we should be good. All right, guys, let's start with the first figure here. This feels like it might be in a protector. I think it might be, so I'm gonna skip that one. I don't know what it is, but it feels a little bit harder than the rest of them. And Or maybe they're all in protectors? I don't know, I'll just grab it because I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, here it is right here. Of course, they're in bubble wrap, but uh, there is the figure. I don't know where the front is. I think it's here, because I can kind of feel the window. Okay, guys, so the first one we got here is from Hellboy. This is Lobster Johnson. Um, so this here is one of the ones from Pop Comics. Um, and I don't own this one, which is great. Really, all I'm caring about today is if I don't own the figure. So this right here, Lobster Johnson, is a uh, pretty cool one. I don't own it, like I said, um, but it's got some cool detail on it. It is from Hellboy. I do own one of the Hellboy figures, and I think I own Rasputin as well, so you guys can see the rest of the set there, but I do not own this one. All right, guys, so next up, let's go with... Oof, I don't know, let's just go with this one, because the thing is, we're going to take them all out eventually. There we go. Okay, hey, you know what, this one's pretty good. So this one is 11 elevated. Again, this one I don't think I own it. I own a lot of the 11s, but this was right around the time when there had been probably about five or six different 11s that had come out. Um, so I didn't pick up this one, I don't think anyways. I for sure have a couple other 11s, but I don't remember if I have this one. So this one is a great figure. This one is 11 elevated, like I said. There's also in this set, Steve with sunglasses, Bob, Billy, and then Hopper with vines. This one wasn't one of the later sets, but it's still a really great one. All right, let's get into the third pop here. So that's only two out of the 10. So I'd say we're doing pretty good so far. We don't own any of them. And that's really what I'm going for here. I, I, it's annoying because I can't open my eyes. But that's really what I'm going for here. I don't want to own any of these figures. And if I don't own any of them, I think that's a win in my books because I have so many of them. Uh, let's go with that right there. Okay, so this one here we got Mugatu. Now this one is from Zoolander. And I don't know if this is the original Zoolander. It's probably the original one because there was the new one that came out. And when the new one came out, Funko made figures for, I believe, the original one. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it doesn't say Zoolander 2, but this one here is uh, played by Will Ferrell. Um, so this one's really cool. I I, uh, I don't know if I've seen this movie, actually. So here's the uh, one here. Anyways, there's Mugatu. There's also a chase version of Mugatu with a dog, which is pretty cool. But then there's also Derek Zoolander and then Hansel on the back there. It's a pretty good set. I just haven't seen the movie. I probably should watch it, though. All right, let's go with the next figure here. How about this one? Okay, well, I don't know which way this front is, but anyways. 
Hey, you know what? That's a good one though. Okay, so this one here is Witch Doctor. I do own this one. I do own pretty much every Scooby-Doo figure. I think I'm only missing two. And then the new Scoob ones because I can't order from Walmart.com and they're not on Walmart.ca. But still, this is a great figure. This one is the Witch Doctor. Um, this one was from the 50 years of Scooby-Doo. And a fun fact actually, um, my mom was born the day the first episode of Scooby-Doo aired, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so there is the Scooby-Doo set. So this is the new Scooby-Doo set with Scooby-Doo, Shaggy. Um, they redid those two with food in their hands probably because they're the most popular, so I don't blame them. And then we've got Ghost Clown, Spooky Space Kook, Phantom Shadow, and then Witch Doctor. So there is the rest of the set on the back there. And I would say this is a pretty good one to get. All right, let's get into the next one here. So far we've had some pretty cool pulls, some ones that I uh, don't own as well as ones that I do have, but they are pretty cool ones. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Hey, hey, you know what? Oh, this is cool one. I was actually gonna buy this one the other day when we were at EB Games. I toyed with the idea of buying it, but then I passed on it, but I'm glad I did because I got it in this mystery box here. So this one right here is a great one. So I actually have the original Rocky from Rocky and Bullwinkle, but the problem was his feet for some reason had like very tiny little legs and they bent forward so he wouldn't stand. But this Rocky here is him actually floating and you guys can see there he's got like the little stand. So I'm so glad that I did get this one and I didn't pick it up the other day. All right, so we're only halfway through the first box here. So let's see, let me see if there's a heavy one. Uh, just for fun. Oh, this one feels kind of heavy. No, this one felt heavier. Okay, yeah, let's go with this one here. Feels pretty heavy. Okay, uh, I think that's the front. Okay, so this one here is Torbjorn. Um, I don't think I have Torbjorn. I might have the Walmart exclusive Molten Core Torbjorn, but I don't know if I have this one. Um, but this one is really cool. Uh, big fan of this one. It also comes with, uh, Noah would know this better than I would. Is it Toretti? Tourette? It's a turret for sure. I know it's got a name though. I think it's Torbjorn and Toretti, if I'm not mistaken. I feel dumb for not knowing this one, but I haven't played Overwatch in a long time. But there it is right there, guys. There's Torbjorn. This is the common version. There is a couple different versions of this figure right here, but I never did get this one. All right, let's go with the next one here. I think we're gonna go with this one. This one feels pretty light, so maybe we'll go one heavy, one light. So there we go. This one here, it, ooh. Okay, so this one here is Mary Jane from the Spider-Man video game. This is the more recent Spider-Man game. Um, and this right here is a pretty cool figure. So this is Mary Jane with the Spider-Man doll in her hand. And I do not own this one. The only thing I think I own from this set is the negative suit Spider-Man, I think it is, um, where he's like kind of like crouching down. And I actually took a really cool photo of that one on my wall at home. I used like little fishing wire. And anyways, I'm getting off topic, but I used fishing wire to have him like on the side looking down. It was actually really cool. Um, but there's the Mary Jane one. And I, again, do not own this one. All right, let's see what's next here. We have how many more figures? I think it's three, because we're seven in. Okay, so let's just go with this one here. This one, I think the window's this way. Hey, nice! Okay, so Sam. I don't know if I have Sam from Cheers. I don't think I do. I remember I got Cliff, I think. I, oof, I don't know, I'd have to look into this one. Maybe when we scan them in on the Funko app, I'll check and tell you guys if I do own these ones or not. But I don't think I own Sam. I remember when these first came out, I got a couple of them, but I don't know if I got Sam. But anyways, it is a really great figure. I think I own Cliff and maybe Norm? Oof, I'm not sure anymore. All right, so let's get into the next one here. There's two left. I'm gonna go with, let's go with this one. Okay, is that it? I can't tell anymore, maybe it's this way. Okay guys, so we got, this one is Tony from Die Hard. I don't, okay, I've seen the movie, but I don't know if I remember this one. This is when, um, doesn't he send him down the elevator and then he's on the chair. What, it says something on his shirt. I don't remember what it says. It says, oh, 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 no, it's upside down. Now I have a gun, ho, ho, ho. Wait, is that supposed to be upside down? Hold on, this could be an error figure. This is really cool. Okay, so it says now I have a, it's upside down. Do you guys see that? Right in the middle there, guys. The print is upside down on his shirt because I thought it said oh, 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 and then I realized it says a gun, uh, have I now, whatever. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But if you guys see there closely, he's actually got the text upside down. That is a weird error, but you guys know I love that type of stuff. All right, so let's get out the last one here. So this, honestly, I have no clue, and this has been a pretty good box so far. Um, there's not gonna be anything too um, expensive or spectacular. There are probably just gonna be a bunch of common figures, but I completely understand because you're getting $100 worth of figures for $50, so I'm not complaining at all. But anyways, let's pull this one out here 
And I think that's it. Yeah, you can kind of feel the window. The window's a lot, uh, if you guys are wondering, the window is a lot softer than the actual cardboard. If you guys are wondering how I'm figuring this out, because you know, some people might think that I'm looking at them. I'm not. It's just, I kind of know the different textures. But anyways, there's this one right here. Let's see what it is. Okay, so this one here is Buttercup from The Princess Bride. So, this one here I do not have. The only ones I have from this is, is uh... Ooh, maybe none of them, actually. I remember my dad's a huge fan of this movie. Maybe he would want this one. Um, I might have Wesley, actually, or maybe a Diego Montoya. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I for sure don't have Buttercup, so this is a cool one to get. And if you guys want a little fun fact about this one, look here. If you see the Princess Bride logo, watch this. You flip it upside down, it's still the Princess Bride logo. I think that's really funny. Anyways, guys, that's really cool that they did do that. And that is a more recent thing. I checked just to see if it's always been like that. No, there was an older Princess Bride logo, so maybe when they were like redoing the movie or re-releasing it somehow um they switched up the logo to be like this and i think it looks pretty cool all right guys so there is one box Whew, that didn't sound good anyways let's get on to the next one all right guys so we're getting into the next box here i would say the first one was pretty good better than i expected especially with some of the figures like i really like torbjorn um i was a big fan of rocky from rocky and bullwinkle the mary jane one's cool buttercup's great i especially like that error tony um and i don't know too much about him but he wasn't like a main character so i totally understand why i wouldn't i have a bunch of error figures actually and if you guys would like to see a video on them let me know like one of them as an example is the freddy funko the original one that i own says vinyl bobblehead on the bottom when other ones just say vinyl Vinyl figure it actually says vinyl bobblehead where it would say vinyl figure so that's a bit of an error I also have some other ones where they're like missing arms or different things like that so if you guys would like to see a video on all of my error figures I can totally pull them all out of you know the woodworks I don't know where they are all together but I'd have to you know find them and figure that out uh, let me know because I could totally do that I even have some with like misspelled boxes and stuff like that so that's always fun to take a look at those ones but anyways let's get into this mystery box okay so same as last time it's got the paper on the top with 10 figures inside I'm actually super excited to see what's in here I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna get at least a double somewhere within these two boxes, but again, I don't mind. All right guys, so let's just get started with the first one here and let's see what it is. Okay. Hey, you know what, that's a good one. We got Rescue from the Avengers Endgame set. So this was from the like Avengers spoilers wave, I guess you could say, um, with a couple different figures. It was, so it would've been Fat Thor, um, it was Hulk with the Nano Gauntlet, I think it was, and then Rescue were the three. And you guys actually really enjoyed when I went pop hunting for these. So it's cool that we get to see this one again. But yeah, this was one of the ones from that set. And I'm a pretty big fan of it. I do own it, but it's still a cool pop. All right, let's go next up here. This one feels a lot heavier, and I know you guys can probably see it, but I can't see it yet. So anyways, there we go. Okay, so this one is Vivian Ward from Pretty Woman. Um, I, uh, I don't think I've seen this movie. What's the one where they, a guy dresses up like a woman and it's the one for, it's the guy from Rain, Rain Man. I don't remember that one, but anyways, I don't own this one, so that's cool. Um, that could even be this movie, I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, it's a neat pop, I'm just not sure if I've seen the movie. All right, let's see what we got next up here. This one, again, feels pretty heavy. I mean, it's kind of heavy, not really now that I'm holding it. I guess it was just kind of stuck in there, but let's see what we got here. Okay, we got Zarya from Overwatch. Now this one here is another one of those Overwatch ones that I don't own. I really only own a couple of the Overwatch ones, so getting any of these ones would be great, like Torbjorn last time. I feel like we're seeing a little bit of a pattern here. Maybe we'll see some other ones uh, similar to different sets um, from the first box. But anyways, here is Zarya. It's a pretty cool one. I like the gun she's got there and the one that she's leaning on. It is huge. Um, in this set, you guys can also get Mercy's and Yada, um, Sombra, Junkrat, and then Roadhog. Roadhog is a six inch character. I do own that one. Uh, I don't know, do I own the uh, Frankenstein Roadhog? I feel like I do. I'm not sure, but anyways, this is a cool pop. All right, so after that one, let's see what we got here. This one feels a bit lighter again. Let's see if I can find the front this time. So it should be like that. Hey, you know what, I'll take it. So this one is Prince Akeem from Coming to America. Uh, this one here, I never did get these figures, but then again, I've never seen the movie before. I probably should watch Coming to America, and I know, I know, probably a lot of you guys are telling me that I should watch it now. But then again, it's a mystery box. I don't know which figures I'm getting, so some of these movies I'm probably not seen before. But again, there is Prince Akeem right there. It's got some great detail to it. Is it, I wanna say Eddie Murphy plays him. I'm not sure, but I think it's Eddie Murphy if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, it's a cool figure. I just don't know too much about it. Okay, let's see what's next here. I wonder if we can get like chases and stuff in this. Like in the last box, I got a chase one from Tron. But I don't know about this box. Anyways, let's see what we got here. Hey, okay, so this one here is Hydro Man. I, mmm, 
Um, I'm trying to think if I own this one now. I know I own the glow-in-the-dark one, but I don't know if I own this one. The glow-in-the-dark one was a Barnes & Noble exclusive, but I'm trying to remember if this one is in the collection. But still, it's a great figure. I'm not complaining about it. Um, I'm just trying to remember if I own it. And like I said earlier, I will be scanning these into the Funko app to see if I do own them or not. But yeah, it's still a really cool pop. All right, let's get on to the next one here, which would be, I guess we'll just do this one here, I think. How about this? What is it? Okay, so this one is Janet Van Dyne from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if I have this one. I don't think I do. Anyways, I, no, I know I don't. Janet Van Dyne is one of those ones that's a smaller character from this, but it's still a cool one. Um, it would have been nice to get Ant-Man and the Wasp or even Ghost. I don't own Hank Pym either, but this is still a nice one. I just uh, don't know too much about her. All right, let's get into the next pop here. So I think if I'm not mistaken, we have four more and then we'll check them all out on the Funko app. But let's go with this one here. Okay, so this one is Squints from the Sandlot. I think if I'm not mistaken, who came in the two pack? It was Squints and Wendy Peppercorn, if I'm not mistaken. I did own that set for a while, and then I sold it at Comic-Con, or I traded it for something. I don't remember, but Squints is still a really cool figure. He's got the baseball bat, and he's got the backwards cap. I remember, was it Squints, if I'm not mistaken, that was in the Eminem music video? Or was it the Logic one? Either way, I think Squints played Logic in that one music video. I don't remember, I don't even know what song it was. I can't think of it right now. But uh, it was a good song, and I like the music video as well. All right, let's get into the next one here. Like I said, we've got three more. So let's see what this one is. Sure, uh, I think that's the front. Okay, so this here is Alien Twins from Men in Black International. I never did see this movie. I have seen the original uh, Men in Black movies, but I did not see this one. This is the one with Chris Hemsworth and the girl that plays Valkyrie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think it is. And this right here is a great pop. There's something a little bit weird about this pop, and I actually want to take something out of the box real quick to show you guys what I'm talking about. Because the Alien Twins, you guys might be thinking, they're twins. How is there two here? It's one figure. But this is one side. This is the other. They're stuck together in the middle. It's such a weird pop, but I'm so glad that Funko made it because it's just so unique. And this is one of those pops I would totally say to take out of the box and display it because you would never see the other twin in the box. All right, we're down to two more. We're getting down to the home stretch here. Let's see. This one's kind of heavy. Let's see what this one is. Okay, ooh. Okay, so this here is Stonekeeper from Smallfoot. This is a cool one. Um, out of this set, I think I own... Migo, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, geez, I'm really not remembering which figures I own today. But then again, it comes down to these sets, and I don't remember all of them, but I do remember a good amount of them. I don't know if I have any from this set, actually. No, I have Flame for sure. I might have Michi as well. I always think of that one song when I think of Michi. Zendaya is Michi. I don't remember who made that video, but it is a pretty funny one. Um, but there is the Stonekeeper right here. This is a really heavy figure. All right, guys, so now we are down to the last pop out of the second mystery box here. So... Let's see who it is. I think that's the front there. Boom. Okay, so we got Vanessa Jesus from Austin Powers. I have actually Austin Powers and Dr. Evil, I think I have. I don't know if I have Vanessa, um, but it's Vanessa Kensington. Um, this one right here is a cool one. Yeah, like I said, I think I have Dr. Evil. I for sure have Austin Powers, um, but it'd be nice to get the whole set. Um, but yeah, for right now, I think we just have the two of them. Maybe I'll get the uh, Dr. Evil eventually. I mean, it would be cool if they made a mini-me, but I don't think they did. It would have been cool if they did, like, uh, you know how they did um, Mike TV, and it was the normal size version of them as well as the mini version of them? That would have been cool if they did that with Dr. Evil and mini-me. Um, but this one right here is Vanessa. Not the best one in the set, but it's still cool one to complete the set. Also, guys, there is a close-up of it in case you guys are wondering. I don't think I showed it off very well, but there it is. All right, guys, box number two out of here. Gosh, two cats. All right, guys, so now that we're done opening them up, let's actually go into the Funko app and see how much all of these are worth. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing the prices for the box that we opened up first. All right, Tony from Die Hard is worth $8. Sam Mayday Malone is 7 bucks. We've got Buttercup coming in at 17 Jeez, nice. Torbjorn is worth 7 bucks. Mugatu is valued at... Six. Now he's a little lower, but it's also because there is a chase version of him. The common one gets much cheaper. The chase one's worth 21, in case you guys are wondering. All right, 11 elevated is worth eight bucks. Rocky is coming in at nine. Not bad. Mary Jane, I actually have no clue how much she's gonna be worth, but let's guess, 10? 
Nine bucks. I'm guessing Lobster Johnson isn't gonna be worth that much, but maybe a little bit. Seven. Now because most of the Scooby-Doo ones are kind of expensive, I'm banking on the Witch Doctor being at least 15, but I'm not sure. Eight. And I just checked, I do own this one. I think we knew that. Yeah, we knew that. All right guys, we're on to box number two, and I'll tell you the value of what both of these boxes are all together at the end. But let's start scanning these ones. All right, Vivian Ward from Pretty Woman is coming in at seven. There's a chase worth 26, so it makes sense why it's cheaper. Janet Van Dyne, I'm gonna guess like five bucks on her, but I have no clue. Six, a little better. We have Squints from The Sandlot coming in at 22. Hmm, I wonder if they're putting in one figure that's worth a little bit more into each box. That'd be great if they were, for anybody wondering. The value might shoot up a little bit because of these, but uh, as of right now, that's what it seems like. But there could be two in here, I don't know. All right guys, we've got Stonekeeper at $7. It seems like most of them are $7. All right, so we've got the Alien Twins coming in at six. And by the way, that is a weird glam shot to show both. Hmm. Okay, we've got Hydro Man from Spider-Man Far From Home at six. Zarya is at seven dollars. I don't know how much Prince Akeem is worth, but I'm guessing it's not much. I'm gonna say like eight, just as a guess. Twelve. Okay, so that is our second pop over ten dollars in this box. In the first box, we didn't have any over ten dollars, minus the one. Okay, we've got Vanessa Kensington. I'm gonna guess six. Eight. And then last but not least here, we have Rescue from Avengers Endgame. Let's say $10, 15, six. All right guys, I did the math on this here and my Funko app is in USD and this all here is in Canadian. So if you were to buy this, K-Dog and Fish is a Canadian company. So they're selling these boxes for $50 Canadian. I have this here in American, but I priced it out at the end in Canadian. So for both of these boxes, it's $86 for box number one in USD and then $87 in USD for the second box. But in Canadian, it is $111 and $113. So you are making more than what they said you were gonna be making off this box, which I I think is crazy um, and you're getting what was it it was 10 pops so instead of it normally being six pops you're getting an extra four pops and you're getting way more money from it now I know some of the figures are worth less in this box than usual because they're usually worth like I would say like 15 to 20 dollars in the six pop mystery boxes but if you guys want to like grow your collections with some pretty cool figures I would say these mystery boxes are the way to go now they are sold out at the moment but you guys can go get other mystery boxes at K-Dog and Fish they are not a sponsor I'm just a huge fan of their mystery boxes because I feel like they're very fair and you always seem to get a good amount of pretty nice figures inside of every box so anyways guys hope you you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been another episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow hey you made it to the end of the video if you're new around here you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel i do upload every day after all and if you're already a subscriber thank you and you can always like the video if you know <laughs> well liked the video and if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's going to do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.